God always does something new and unexpected that we can't even dream or think about hardly. My story begins back in the year of 1995 uh, here in Quincy, Illinois. I had been down to the Salvation Army and after I left there, uh, right across the street is our Adams County Jail. And as I was driving by, I looked up at uh, the screens and the bars on the windows and thought, there are women in those jails right now. And somehow my heart was sort of softened and sad by the thought of the women up there. And all at once, it was like the Lord spoke very clearly to me in my heart and said, You've never been to the jail. And I said, no, Lord, I haven't. And then I began to try to justify myself, and I thought, well, Lord, I've helped those who were hungry. I've taken a bowl of soup to the neighbor. And when someone was thirsty, when the garbage man came by in the summertime, uh, we often offered them a drink of cool water. And when somebody was sick, I helped take care of my grandmother during my high school days. And I guess I sort of thought I justified myself before God. And then, just as clearly, the same voice spoke to my heart and said, you have never been to the jail. And I slouched down my seat a little and responded more seriously this time. No, Lord, I haven't. And then I remembered in our trunk my husband and I had some Bibles that we were using to give to people. And so I went out and got the Bibles and brought them in and left and went on my way home. And I thought, I'd done my little thing. I'd been to the jail. But the Lord wouldn't let me go. And this kept coming to my mind again and again that I needed to go in the jail to the women. And then I even began arguing with the Lord, which isn't too smart a thing to do. And I said, Lord, you know I'm getting older, so he didn't know that. And then almost immediately, this message came to my heart as well. I just want you to start this work. I will give you plenty of women and people to help you. Before long, we had a team of 12 women ready to go to the jail, and two of us went every Saturday. We sat out in a walkway in front of the cells on milk cartons, turned upside down, and began to minister to the women. And I think there were two things that we didn't expect, at least that I didn't. I didn't know I could look into a woman's eyes that I had never seen and find out that I loved her. And it wasn't my love, it was Jesus' love flowing through us. And then the second thing that shouldn't have surprised me was that because we were in the jails, we weren't the first ones to visit there. God was already there, waiting for us to come and bring his message of grace and mercy and love to those women. The big thing that we found that they were dealing with was that they were no good. Some of them grew up in bad homes, some of them grew up in good homes, but they did not know Jesus. Some of them didn't know even how to turn to him. But through God's Word and His Holy Spirit, we've seen lives changed. And we know that that's what can happen for any woman or any man in any circumstance. As time went by, though, we knew that there were women hurting and that they couldn't make it when they got out. And you know, all of us want a place to lay our heads at night and a place to call home and a place where we can feel safe and secure. And so we began to pray about a house. And so after many years of searching, God, in his miraculous way, sent us funds that we were able to purchase a house. And we actually found a house just right down the street, not very far from the jail, just a few blocks away. And we just are thankful that we have a home that we call the Well House. And it goes with the story in John chapter 4, uh, where Jesus met the woman at the well. And she came there for water. And Jesus said to her, I will give you the living water. And this changed that woman's life. And she said, as she left there to go out into her community, come, come and see a man. And he told me everything he knew about me. Come and see, is he not the Christ? And that's what we're saying with our home, with the women that are there. Come and see, is this not the Christ?